And welcome to this computer system. It's the one from June and it has the nice new Breaking Bad. Uh, Gonky, well, you have to give it a name, right? So there's all these chemical stuff and it has some dials and some memory, root, home, RAM, CPU, etc. And of course the heat, which I always find interesting to see. When you're building Arch Linux B, when you're building an ISO, your CPU goes full out eight cores work in this in my case and temperature goes up and always like to monitor that the video we're going to make is not about Arch Linux B it's about MX Linux yeah so super f7 launches my virtual box template clone MX Linux it's the 18.3 so the last edition from March and it's already downloaded done it with a torrent i believe that was it go back so that one and let's boot it up and see if all the arco and surfing icons and so on are okay now it's always different any um well not any but several many uh, linux isos boot up differently it's always figuring out how everything works on, on each of these distros and there's lots of possibility here press f1 for help to language time zone options persist fail safe console so a lot of things you can change just gonna go for the standard one and boot it up it's 4.19.5 i saw it correctly so it's not kernel 5 but 4.19 wasn't a flash there always a discussion with people hey uh, is it important latest kernels and all that so we're just going to take a look at this but first before i actually take a look i really want to have a complete installation right so i guess i need to close this go to the installer and then enjoy using mx linux keyboard us not okay with us gonna be more okay with belgium variant i think it's just blanco let's try to add yeah this one can go apply he's saving settings we already have a little conky up there okay done mm -hmm. I think that's okay. Next, we'll see him. So, SDA, fine, run partition tool. It's gonna be gparted, of course, so you can change if you know what to do in gparted. Let's just assume I know nothing about that and I'll just auto install using entire disk. There's an encryption, so an encryption password and confirmation password can be done as well. And next, okay to format, yes. Creating required partitions, a root partition, MBR, which is normal because we did not say in VirtualBox that this is going to be a GPT or anything like it or EFI. So that's okay that he assumes this is going to be MBR. And we're going to boot up from SDA. That gives us time to look around. So the menu is not the menu, <laughs> that's the logout button this button is the menu okay so analyze right right mouse click this is the whisker menu menu we use it as well with the properties with an icon you can display or an icon and a title and you say applications menu but you see why they have chosen not to do that because otherwise it will be looking uh, strange Apply is not really okay we can however let's see we can the panel panel preferences we can actually go to horizontal i suppose and then go down well was it again i always tend to forget because i never changed my menus at all but but we can move it a oh, lock panel that's the one and then like this and yeah let's keep it like this lock panel close the only thing i need to remember that this is now my menu instead of 
that side and this side is, is there. Uh, so, okay, in mirror, we have to see it. Basically, this feels quite at home. Lots of stuff here. Let's see what there is. So a special um, MX switch user, so something special MX stands for this distro. So I guess they have made something new like this and like that. Maybe build upon something else and then change the code, which is okay because that's what Linux is. We don't reinvent things, we use code and change it. Conky Manager is installed, which is always interesting to know if you have the old Lua code that works. If you have the new Lua code, it won't understand it until somebody corrects me. I think that's still correct until now. We can say the Conky off and on, which is pretty interesting actually as idea to have a Conky toggle. Feather parts is a just a little application like Sublime Text and others text. But what I need to know, of course, is later on when I do a reboot, getting in my Sardi and Surfing icons and see if everything is covered. Because sometimes if you make new applications, you need also to have new references to these applications. Otherwise the icon will not, uh, well, the 100% ratio that I would like to have on Sardi will not be achieved. And one icon is not adhering to the theming. We can't have that. Needs to be 100% perfect. So development, okay, games, game stuff in here, graphics. Okay, I was waiting for something it seems. Computer name, blah, 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 Samba for networking, fine, close, next. Um, locale is okay. Time zone, let's put that right. Europe, Brussels, it is. Next. All right, that's important. Default user account. Eric, password, very complex password that nobody can guess. And the root password is an even as complex password that nobody knows. Auto login, log let's just see what it looks like when we don't auto login. So we see the display manager. And we are installing Grub now already. And I was going to my applications here, graphics. So Nomax is there. PDF, LibreOffice Draw, Internet. The old dial-up tool. Multimedia. Clementine, super thing. I've been using it also for, I don't know, a few months like that. And I really liked it. And this is all specific to the to MX to the distro itself. So this is probably gonna have icons that will not follow the Sardi icon. So they're specific uh, wired to that distro. So a lot of stuff, LibreOffice and all that. Settings, this is just the settings from XFC. But there will be exceptions, of course. Gparted is an exception, LightTM. So we're using LightTM as a greeter. And sound settings, time settings, MX tools. Samba is also something special. And the system. So deconf editor, Conky Toggle is a new thing I just discovered earlier on. And all kinds of things. Smart control, maybe lucky backup, also an interesting thing. If you want to make back backups graphically, then that's uh, an interesting way to do it. Super interesting tool, the GNOME here. All right, uh, finish. Okay, we have finished. Elvis has left the building. Let's now boot up. Okay. Asking all remaining processes to shut down. It's like really polite. Please remove the disk, press enter. And let's go. Yeah, disk is removed automatically. So this is the normal grub we see. It's also a little bit design. 
it's very small to see and probably bad to see on the on the YouTube but it's it's dark it has this logo in the back from MX Linux and this is how you are greeted so MX has here and then we have a default sessions we have here large font high contrast on screen board and this is working just have to wait a little bit longer come on Eric click and then wait we did have a drop down ah, when we click on the US not on the icon but on the US you get this long list which is good and this little smiley doesn't do anything really so that's keyboard that should be can be language maybe and let's stop everything a nice logo and let's enter so all my changes are of course void don't show this okay close because of the fact that there was a live DVD so all the, the panel that was moved to the bottom is back of course it's just some fun that we had so where do we get our sardi icons oh I have a QWERTY thingy Control alt T I'm pressing now oh well I've made something did something wrong termite is not there terminal emulator let's do set x belgian so sadly i can source forge all right click how much downloads do we have these days never go check come on it won't accept me files downloads 221 this week 215 this week and we are at how many downloads I'm wondering let me just too curious I need to know need to know so files I think other oh, yeah fine. we can see it here as well probably there you go 1267 for three months or so that's a peak okay so let's get the files so that's the latest reference that's correct maybe it's always difficult uh, to know what source which source forge is going to do but this button i don't trust it because when it's recently changed it's gonna give some of the times the old version so if you really want to be sure that's always gonna be in here that's the latest version always so clicking here is always right we get a little countdown if the countdown is too slow just take another pick so all lots of servers around the world if you're not near to one of them you are out of luck because this is it there isn't anything more and it's all free of charge remember everything costs money in this world source force doesn't cost a thing so this is the icons, control A, control C, go to Eric, go to control H, go to no icons. So right mouse click, create folder, dot icons, enter, copy paste, and there we go. So how many folders are there? Again, 20 or so. Let's ask 22 folders of icons. Okay, let's have a look. So how do we set it? Like everywhere in XFC, you go to the settings, you go to appearance, and you to choose your icons, and you go to Sardi Arc, for instance. But many of the times when I make tutorials about Sardi and Surfing, I always take one that's always going to be the same. It's easy for me. Sardi Flexible Arc means everything is blue. Simple as that. That's interesting for me. It's uh, maybe not to your liking, but it, that makes my life easier. If everything, if, it's, if I look at all and I scroll down and everything is blue, then I know I don't have any work. If there are things like this guy, I know there is work to do. It depends. So one more, one more. And mix updater. We've had a discussion with the guys, the developers. They should probably make the pathway uh, not fixed but uh, flexible system keyboards this should work so 
there is often a problem with the software engineers. Software engineers are not thinking about icons. It's not important for them. They are working on codes and, and, and all that. But there is a hard code icon fixer online. Anybody can use it. It's a Linux bash script, I think it is. And it just works. Fix sh. So if an icon team is not correctly displayed, you first need to figure out is it due to the fact that maybe this distro is not um, let's delete that guy remove move to trash extract here is this um, using hard-coded path so the applications we don't we we're, we're not in control of what the software developers do right but this little tool is going to fix things so I do believe we need curl or something like it. Um, I'm wondering, um, <laughs> is this an apt install thing? Yeah, okay. So much, so used to work on Arch Linux. Pseudo apt install. My knowledge is going away so fast of Debian world. Okay, so curl was installed. So I can just run sudo dot fix as edge. Aha, uh -huh, look at that. So this little application, thanks for um, Fogalong to make it because a lot of work. He's also a developer or, or in any way involved in the teaming of, um, of the icon theme of Numix and Numix Circle. And with this little application, he's going to fix a lot of my work already. So some of the things are just the way they are in life, you know, and you have to go to user to, to share to applications. And this is for me the place to be to check out. And it's going to be more and more difficult because of the GNOME, the new GNOME, uh, well, format of naming the icons, which makes it difficult for us because we can't see the icons anymore. In this case, I can still see plenty of icons and everything is almost blue. And what did we fix? We fixed all these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remember Lucky Backup? So Lucky Backup is fixed, right? So there was an icon there, but the problem is that the developer, let's, let's take it in cl close, right mouse click. Come on, open with, let's see, what do we take, Genie? And this thing, is a normal path. It's not a hard-coded fixed path. And it was the case prior to running this hard code fixer. So the the path, the long pathway, user share, icons, etc., is gone and it's just been replaced by lucky backup. This means if you now change to Numix or to paper and papyrus and all that, these icons will change as well. And before running the script it will not change whatever you choose so that's an interesting thing you should know about well icons and hard code fixer and all that so this guy really doesn't matter if he's not in the menu i don't care right this is something that's hidden for the users and everything that's in here is visible so we need to fix these guys so again let's recheck so this guy was, I believe, also wrong icon. But now, the first one we see is the live USB kernel updater. That's normal. This, I don't know. Oh, that's normal, I think so. In doubt, check. This, like I said, is, is something I can't solve. So it will stay there. And this one can might be able. So we should check this one, system keyboard. So right mouse click, open with, open with Genie. And it's called Icon System Keyboard MX. Okay. So what can we do? There are two things, either they adapt or I adapt, right? Two choices in life. 
So the Sardi, well, we don't have an, a search menu really in XFCE. We do have find files here. So that's our catfish. Yeah, sure, update please. Unlock. So a new database. All right, fine. In icons, that's a good thing. In icons, mm, look for keyboards. We have different keyboards. Just keyboard SVG will do the trick as well. So what we can do is, well, I will do in the next Sardi, is make an extra link. So a link, this is Sardi flexible, this is scalable, this is apps. This in here somewhere is a word of keyboard or the icon keyboard, right? So what I need to make is an terminal here, a link to, where do I link to? To the word keyboard, SVG. And how should I link it? Well, let's have a look. What was it again? System Keyboard MX. Control C, Control Shift V, Enter. So now in here somewhere, System Keyboard MX. We have now a link to a file. Yes, sorry, GIMP. I just want to click once, not open. So make it blue, select so that we have a link to a particular file. Now, this is all technical, <laughs> so I'll just make an, a new uh, icon release. But when we delete this guy, we should delete this because we made a new icon. Actually, it's not, it's a link, but actually it's a new icon. So I'm gonna create a new icon cache. So this file, this little application of our script, we make a new icon theme cache. Now system keyboard MX, I didn't change anything here because that's the, the name that the distro provides. So I'm gonna make this thing on my Sardi icons and provide a new link. What's gonna happen? I hope everything works. Let's see, would be great. Everything works and from one go on tutorials. New window maybe best. User, share, application. Applications, where are the applications? Here they are. And what, where are we looking for? We're looking for this guy. So we need to, the cache is gone, right? So let's see what happens if I change it. Up, up, all right. Doesn't change, this changes. You see, this is going to change. Right, so mm, why is it not changing? Why is this thing not changing? Sadly flexible arc. Okay, like I said, it's nice if everything works in a video. I spoke too soon. So system keyboard MX, control C, right mouse click, find files here, control V, enter. And we have indeed a file. Oops. Is that without SVG? Or not? Might be the reason, right? And where did I put it? I should have put it here. System keyboard MX SVG. Damn it. So can I right mouse click you or not? I can. Where are you? Rename. SVG, rename. Looks good. That's open. That's that one. Let's put this guy here. Where is the SVG? That's the one we want to change. That's the one I've already created. No typo, system keyboard MX. System keyboard MX. Okay, looks good. Now we're gonna delete the icon theme cache. Was I deleting the wrong file here or not? I'm not sure. Open terminal here. And then create new icon theme cache. 
Yeah, success, yeah. So as you see, if you want to do all of that for one icon and then lots of icons, you say, okay, never mind, really. So the thing I'm gonna do is make this on my Sardi SSD. So as you know by now, I have a an, uh, bay and in each bay you can pop in, pop out, pop in, pop out all SSDs and have a particular SSD that runs for, for has been rolling, I don't know, for, for a year on Arco Linux and I'll just pop it in, update it all the time. And, and this thing is my, my Sardi development. So this is what I need to type in every single of these uh, files here, this, these folders. Well, not every, but the most important ones. But that's too technical now. That's not uh, the point. So I just wanted to include quickly that the icons exist, but the naming is different and it's gonna be the same on every single distro. So the only thing you can do as a distro developer, or sorry, uh, as an icon developer, is well to, to install these app, these distros and check out if you need to make a new link. In this case, not a new icon, which can be the case, but in this case, a keyboard already exists, so I need just to make a new link. So this guy is unimportant, so that's okay. Uh, by the way, that's changed everywhere, of course. Um, where would that have been? Let's just type in keyword. So here it is. That thing has changed as well. And I'll do for the do the same checkup for the life something. Life LLL. So that's fixed via the script. So I need to figure out where this live USB thing is. Maybe in here, maybe in here. Ah, there you are. So right mouse click, execute Genie and scroll and it's called live USB kernel updater. So I don't think I have an icon for that, not really. So I'm gonna check in one of my 20,000 icons if there's something in there. Okay, so I'll write down the work I'll have to do, but um, it still looks okay. And the installer is something we don't see actually here. Do we? Um, no. So that's okay. I don't care if it's, it's a wrong application or wrong icon in user share applications. As long as it's looking okay in here, then it's fine. And also this guy needs to look awesome. And that's okay too. That's a normal one and that's normal and that's all good. That's covered. There was something specific to MX tools where I've been uh, spent a lot of work in. So making all these icons look uh, sardi, the sardi look. So this is the one I need to check out. And of course, this is maybe ugly in your eyes and well, it's all a matter of taste, but it's more than just that. I mean, take a look at, that's okay, right? So let's go over the right here. So all these things change. Maybe show you that one as well. So like this, all choices. Everybody has a taste, a personal taste, lots of differences. This, you need a black uh, background because everything is uh, whitish, white on white. Well, you don't see it very good. Let's click here. Uh, back to here and these are all Sardi stuff now when I develop Sardi I always take care of surfing uh, in one go it's it's the same um, work I mean it's the same action you need to take if then have to make a link in one Sardi and then I have to make a link also in surfing so that's the same thing but we have not downloaded it and it's it's gonna be in my case the same work same amount of work the only thing is it's coming from somewhere else. Uh, we're not gonna log in, Eric. Go here, close, download, zip, and then we have a download somewhere at some point. Go to it, uh, right mouse click, extract it here. And this is a completely different kind of uh, icon theme and I've been actually working, well, did I start first with Sardi and Surfing? I don't know anymore, it's been a while since I've been developing Sardi and Surfing. Don't know who was first, but anyway, I was really figuring out years ago, how do icons work on Linux? And I started at some point in time developing and 
then things get crazy. Then you spend lots of time in making thousands and thousands of icons with the help of others as well. Combination of icons and so on. But even so, it's a, no, I'm not gonna swear. It's a lot of time that went into it. So this is the look, okay, fine. What's the new look then? So let's click here and then there. Appearance and go to icons. I do like the new mix look. It's a nice icon um, theme, I mean. So surfing icon, this is how surfing icon looks with lots of um, different folders. Each time a different folder. Let's go back. So one, two, three, I don't know, not gonna count. All different kinds of folders and looks to please anybody, I hope. But never mind. If it's not your cup of tea, there is Numix that's interesting. Numix Circle is interesting. Papaya is interesting. Paper is interesting. Um, Sapphire is interesting. Maybe you should take a look at that. Orangello, I think the name is. I haven't been installing that for a while, but there are lots of things out there that uh, you can uh, take a look at and that maybe you say, this is my thing. So I know what to do. I'll put it on my to-do list. It's not going to be anytime soon, but it's on the to-do list. And if you see that there is a problem with an icon, then the best place to report it is Google GitHub Sardi. And that's the good one. And here I'll put my personal issues that I found today are going to go on here. But if you have an account, put a new issue, see how I name it or rename it, tell me which um, distro it is so I can always install the distro in VirtualBox, test it out and see if there are more issues or something like that. So it's always interesting to uh, take a look at other distros as well. So there you go. This is my little uh, well test of uh, Sardi and Surfen on the latest uh, MX Linux. And I'll say enjoy your distro and uh, see you on that. All right. Going for Control F here and logging out. Bye.